And I'm sitting here with Nick, uh, who was diagnosed with heart failure about 10 years ago now. Welcome, Nick. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, nice good, to good. meet you. Uh, so for me as a scientist, uh, I'm working very hard together with the scientific community to really understand what is causing heart failure and what is driving the severity of heart failure. I really didn't know what heart failure was. Um, so I, I, I had typical symptoms of, of breathlessness and fatigue. And I, you know, um, when I actually got to hospital, and that was five weeks after having symptoms in primary care, um, I was full of fluid as well. So mm. I was a classic heart failure case. So there was obviously a lot of changes after you were diagnosed with, you know, treatments and changes in lifestyle and, and so on. What else would you have liked to have uh, to help you at that time? Uh, I suppose so many years down the line now, I could reflect and say that what I really needed was the social and psychological support and peer support was very very important because five or six months after coming out of hospital I started the charity mm. and I think it was in some respects I started blogging I bought a domain name for 999 and started blogging and I and I didn't have any I don't think I the aim the aim wasn't then to tell patients. I think it was just me getting my challenges off my chest and mm. talking about them to myself. I started engaging with local patients and I realised that everybody had the same problems as I did. Mm. And, and heart failure, the symptoms are very, very similar. And, and they are defined by breathlessness and mm. fatigue mm. Uh, and, and not always swelling. But the thing that puts people into sheer panic is breathlessness mm. and I don't know whether you've ever been really breathless mm. where that breath of breath of air mm. doesn't make any difference mm. and the second and the third one doesn't make any difference mm. and you have to somehow manage that panic mm. yeah. and, and who to turn to mm. so I would say maybe the health system um, would have could have been uh, better organized around telling me as an individual and also telling other patients of what's next mm. and you know what does this look like mm. instead of telling me that it's failure and you're going to die mm. and Google saying that in five years time 50% of you are gone mm. uh, and you're lucky if you get over five years actually talk about the positives mm. and talk about how you can impact on mm. your condition mm. this is a very important insight mm -hmm. thank you for sharing that so you talked about your blog how, how did it grow from a blog to become a charity? Well, it was all a bit of a whirlwind, really. Um, when I started my blog, I was lucky that I worked very heavily with um, my heart failure nurse then, who was uh, the heart failure nurse manager, Angela. And Angela actually came to work for the charity. She mm -hmm. um, she uh, left the NHS uh, and um, uh, she came to work for the charity, which was amazing because she absolutely believed in what we, what we do. Um, but that gave me insights into other patients. And what was really concerning is that nobody knew about heart failure. Um, even the patients themselves didn't really understand it. Um, and the challenges were all very, very similar. Whether they were 20 mm. or 90, the symptoms were all the same, roughly. Mm. Uh, there may have been other stuff going on, but the breathlessness and the fatigue was a big challenge. So we started putting everything online, we started creating groups and communities, and it grew and grew and grew mm -hmm. and grew. Uh, we registered as a charity, um, and from um, around 2012, 2013, um, we had to change the charity because we were growing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the power of community and having a, uh, a familiar, or a similar issue. I think, you know, for everything we are doing in AstraZeneca, you know, we're discovering and developing new treatments for patients. Without that patient insight piece, we're not going to be able to deliver mm -hmm. a whole healthcare solution. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thank you very much for sharing that. Well, thank you for allowing me to.